Welcome to City Line. I'm Kat. <laughs> I'm Nat, and we are not your city line hosts. Wait, we're not? Not today, Kat. Well, where's Tracy? I'm over here. I'm so happy you're in the studio. They started from the bottom, now they're here hosting City Line. I'm so happy you got, you all are here to have my back. Uh, we are, like, we're lost without you, as you can tell. We need you. We need you here. We miss you so much. Well, you guys know uh, City Line has not gone rogue, but if you watched the show yesterday, my son has COVID, and as a close contact, I am isolating to keep everyone safe. So, of course, we had to call my girls Cat and Nat in to hang out today. We know that you two love to follow a script, not, <laughs> but we do know that you know how to put on a show. So, today is our mom show, and it is an episode fully dedicated to moms and all the facets of motherhood. And so, of course, we need a cat and nat here as part of this show. This hilarious mom duo is known for their viral mom truths, their podcast, and especially their honest and relatable posts on social media. I love you ladies, especially now during a pandemic and momming, it's, it's tough. So Cat and Nat are here to share everything moms think and feel but are often too afraid to talk about. Wish I could be with you in studio right now, but really excited to talk about this uh -huh. hello their brand new book mom secrets coffee fueled confessions from the mom trenches i'm not even gonna lie i went straight to the dad crush chapter <laughs> and laughed my butt off like it was so good and that has given me permission to have all of the crazy daydreams i want to have so thanks girl now this all started if we go back to the beginning with you both hosting moms in your living room to connect. And I remember because I came out to one of these events. Tell me why you started this whole thing and how it all came about. Okay, well, first of all, is your son okay? You know what? Yesterday was the first day the cough started to subside. So we're feeling pretty good about things. And the rest of us are all like we are still negative. So okay. COVID's weird. Okay. But he's doing fine. He's so going to be just fine. We started because of things like this where moms were constantly in the world of mumming and never had a chance to be anything other than mom and have no conversation other than mom, even though they were doing so many different things and everyone would come to us and be like, like, what, what do I do? So we started a community where we could all share and have conversations. Yeah, and we could talk about things that we were unable to talk about when there were husbands and children around because you can never mm -mm. finish a sentence when there's kids around. So we had to create a community where we could talk amongst ourselves, have a good time because as women and mothers, we are still allowed time for ourselves. And that's really how it started and how it's continued. And now it's just bigger and better and even more fun with more women supporting each other from all over the world. I think it's pretty fantastic. I mean, you had women from different socioeconomic backgrounds, different religions, different different everything. And the connection is that we love our children, but they also drive us crazy. And sometimes there isn't the outlet for us to actually be real without being super judged. So this particular book, Mom Secrets, I enjoy all of your books. And first of all, I can't even believe these two are writing books. <laughs> I remember having no. dinner with you guys ages ago and you saying, we will write a book when we learn how to write. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You how to write. Busted. Um, <laughs> why Mom Secrets? <laughs> I mean, this book is really, uh, after 13 years of parenting, I feel like we've grown up as, as women and as moms. And it feels like now was the time to talk about sort of the raw side ra and the funny side rather than just the baby stage. And I feel like we're all in this place where we need permission to just parent messy. And I think the, the, the fun is in the mess. And I think we're such in pressure cookers and everyone's bar is so low right now. And I feel like this is just, you're doing a good job. And the stories are like, relatable and hilarious and make you take a deep breath because every night we were talking to women and they were like, I go to bed every single night and I'm doing a bad job and I wake up and I'm gonna do it differently tomorrow and then they fail again. And it's so not about that. So this book is just a really quick, easy, fun read to let you breathe and feel normal in motherhood. Is that, that Absolutely, is that it? and it was inspired by the confessions of our audience. During our live shows, we had a segment where we had a fishbowl and people would put in their confessions or their secrets that they thought they were absolutely the only mom who had this story. We would read them out and like a roar from the audience with all these moms saying, me too. So we were like, there's really something to sharing these secrets with each other. And of course, we had to add, all our dirty, yeah. dirty little secrets in here too. <laughs> 
for me, it's the acceptance. It's the, I see you, you are normal and it is okay. Uh, you say the bar is low. The bar is like, I don't know, it's on the ground. It's like <laughs> sub level. It's in the basement. And I, it's, it's okay that it's down there because it's just been a really tough time. And I'm wondering if you two can comment a little bit about how this time has been being a parent. I know when, when the online school was happening, the remote learning, um, Kat, I think at some point, Chloe, you just said, I'm pulling her. She can't do it at yeah. four or five or however, however old she is. So parents have been having to make some tough decisions right now, haven't they? I think every day, and I think of, you know, women um, and men who are doing this solo and they're trying to, to juggle a career and children and educating and then teachers with, I mean, there were so many times we were at home and we could hear the teacher's children having mm -hmm. tantrums in the background while they're trying to teach a class of 30. And I just think everyone is doing the best they can. And it's been a really challenging time where we're all supposed to have risen. And is that the word? Is that sure, a word? Sure. I mean, I'm a writer. I yeah, should know yeah. that. I mean, I should know. All Author, you tell Author. me. Um, but I think that really it's just we did the best we could and we did an extraordinary job of trying to make everything normal when nothing was normal. Like that was the hardest thing, being the cheerleader, when you're like, is there, is, like, what's going on? And we had to decide at that time, like, their happiness was more important than anything else. And, yeah. you know, some of the younger ones really struggled online. Mine are in French school. Our, our, the parents in the house do not speak French. So we kind of had to just let it go. And w the two of us, with our seven kids, had to make sure that there was fun no matter what so they could yeah. forget about all the stresses. And, you know, they could see their parents stressing. They listened to the news. They listened to their friends. We tried to have fun and sort of uh, put learning on the back burner and that hopefully eventually it would all just wash out. <laughs> Can we talk a little bit about judgment? Because I think that you two are particularly good about saying just stop for a second and like don't go and judge um, somebody out there being a mom who looks like they're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. That that's probably one of your main messages that you're going that you're trying to get across. Am I right? Yes, and absolutely. I feel like we have learned through motherhood. In the beginning, we were we judged ourselves, we judged everybody. We had to think that the way we did it was the best or else we weren't the best mother. But over time, we've matured and we've seen that moms are doing it totally different. Also, sometimes they're caught in a moment where life is so stressful. Maybe they're yelling at their kid in a grocery store or they seem really mad. Um, but they're doing the best they can and we're all gonna do it different. But just accept people and understand that we're all just trying our best and don't judge other people and don't judge yourselves. What do you think we need to do to get past the mom guilt? I mean, you guys talk about creating this amazing show and I, I can't overstate how proud of you I am, seeing you in front of like a stadium full of people and being so authentically yourself. This is a lifelong lesson for so many of us. And to see you doing that and standing in who you are is a beautiful invitation to all of us. Um, but I'm wondering, while you're there, you know, I'm sure there are times when you're thinking about all the stuff at home that needed to be done or should be done or the kids that need you. How do you get past that? I think if you apologize for who you are, you're just teaching your kids to be uh, shameful of who they are. So we try to just really embrace ourselves and celebrate ourselves because the only way we're going to squash the guilt is if we teach that we're not guilty. So so perfect. We, That's so perfect. We uh, we just try to live live in live in the moment of who we want our children to be. Be proud. Mm. You're mm. not guilty. So why should you feel the guilt? That's right. It's a nugget. I yeah. need to write it down somewhere. <laughs> but my daughter mm. stole the pen that goes with the iPad, so mm. I can't write it down. Classic. Listen, thank you so much, Kat and Nat. Congratulations again on the new book, Kat and Nat's Mom Secrets, Coffee-Fueled Confessions from the Mom Trenches. I guarantee it will make you feel good about everything. Uh, they just give you permission to be yourself. So go out and grab yourself a copy today. You won't regret it.